I want to show you how to relabel files within a Mac. <laughs> Javier Mercedes here for another tutorial. What's up? Let's do it. So we're in the computer and I have these files here. What I can do is highlight them all, right click, go to rename 32 items. Now there's this drop down menu here that's replace text, add text, or format. If I want to replace text, I'll do that first for example. So all of these files have that C00. What I might do is go here and I might hit C00. So look at down here in the example, it's taking away the 00. And I want to replace C00 with Emily shoot. 01. So I'm keeping the 01 from those files, but I'm taking out the first couple zeros. All you got to do is hit rename and boom, all of those files are renamed and they retain their same folder structure numerically. So let's say we don't want to do replace, but you just want to add text in front of it to give you some stuff. We go to rename 32 items. Now I'll go to this drop down menu, add text. So what it's going to do is it says add text. You can do it after the name or before the name. So it's going to retain that C0001. Emily Mercedes Art at the back end, something like this. So now I have C0001 Emily Mercedes Art dot MP4. So it looks like I accidentally had the space right there and boom. Now we have all of these same files. I hit rename. At least I have this identifier on the back end of the files that it's Emily Mercedes Art. Like all of these files were from that shoot, which is cool. Let's go check out the last way. We're back at it, go to rename, and here's the last option, format. Name and index, name and counter, name and date. I'm going to do Emily Mercedes Art. And this is where, if you don't have any numbers on your material, but it's in a sequential order already, so this was, all of these were shot at a specific time and they were added at a specific time, and they will get renamed by however you clicked them. Here, Emily Mercedes Art, and then it's going to put one and hit rename. Boom. That's awesome. Isn't that really cool? Okay, here's another instance where, say I shot an interview with Emily here, and I had 32 files from one day. Then on the outside here, let's say I have these files, but I went and I shot it on a different day. But it turns out, I still have this C001, and I know I want to put it on the back end of this number 32 right here. What format allows me to do is go into here, rename four items, and instead of C001, I will put in Emily Mercedes Art, just like I did before, but now I'm going to start the number at the, whatever the last one is. Oh, 33, that's a great number. 33 is a great number. So rename, Emily Mercedes Art 33. Oh, and look at this. If Say you had another shoot and you bring those files in, and boom, it just automatically, you could sequentially add on to that. Really cool, really, really cool. So name and index, name and counter. On name and counter, it will automatically just put a whole bunch of numbers on the back end for you. Start with the number one. And now I'm actually just gonna put it before the name. And because there's this, there isn't space right there, I'll add space, rename. You can see the power of, if you do a lot of organization, which as a movie editor, I do all the time in folder structure, this tool can help so much. Look at that, you can even put the name and date in, in part of it too. Name and index, name and counter, for or after the name. So for formatting, it's the most in-depth way to rename your footage. There's all these options right here. So I don't know if you guys knew about this, but I use this tool all the time. It's a great tool and I'm glad that Mac has this available right within a right click so uh, or control click for some people. That's the end of the tutorial. I'm glad you guys have been watching my videos. If that gave you any sense of just being awesome at life, go ahead and give me the like. If you found it motivationally speaking, amazingly awesome, then I don't know why you would because that's it's a tutorial about renaming files on a computer, but give me the like anyway, thumbs up. And you could comment down below. To all the people that have been watching this channel over the past like month, I used to be doing cooking videos and I'm now I'm doing these tutorial videos and I'm trying to like reach this balance of with the cooking videos it's for fun and I'm like learning a whole bunch of stuff but with tutorials here like with Premiere I can help out people I think more substantially with the knowledge that I have. So 
If you could write down in the comments what kind of videos you guys like to see from me, then um, I'll keep doing those kinds of things. Cause you know what? I like you and hopefully you like this channel. And by that, I mean me and we're all one big happy family. I'm Javier Merced D and I'm out. Bye, baby. I don't wanna call you guys baby, bye. <laughs>